Hi everyone, you're watching the condensed version of Happy Snowman. To watch the full length tutorial, head over to Patreon, I'll have a link below. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy this video. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial. Today I'm really excited to show you how to paint this fun snowman. I'm going to be working on an 11 by 14 stretched canvas. I'll use the following brushes. This is my five piece set of brushes you can now purchase. I'll have a link below if you're interested in purchasing a set of these. They're um, cruelty free, wonderful brushes. I designed them myself and then the company Craftmo um, put them all together and distribute them. They ship worldwide. So starting off with this one here, this is a flat brush, 20, a one inch mop, 14 filbert, a three round and a two liner rigger. Starting off with the background and my number 20 flat brush. The first color I'm gonna be adding is my warm yellow and I'm gonna take some white with it. And I'm just gonna create these little wispy crisscrosses around the background. Okay, so the next color I'm going to pick up, and I haven't washed my brush out, I'm going to take some more white and a little bit of neon red. So I'm not mixing it on the palette to make one color, I'm just picking up a little bit of each, and I'm just going to start to mix this in, still applying that gentle wispy crisscross. And the next color I'm going to take is a little bit of white and just a touch of that phthalo blue. <laughs> you don't need very, very much. It's a pretty strong color, very saturated. I'm going to mix that up with the white. And I'm going to start adding a little bit around the canvas. I'm going to add it down here as well. And now I'm going to take a little bit of my burnt sienna. And I'm going to add little straight up and down brush strokes like this, just to create some wispy looking trees in the background. So just flicking up like this, up and down, bringing it up higher on one side. I'm going to go over to the, the other side here. Simple, simple brush strokes here. Anybody can do this. You're just beginning. You can go ahead and paint along. And I'm going to be using the burnt sienna again. A little bit of water. You want to just kind of twist and roll. And then start to just come in and gently pull and wiggle. If you're having a hard time, pick up a little bit more water and a little bit more paint. Ease off on the amount of pressure you're applying and just very lightly. Notice where I'm holding the brush too, really helps on the closer to the end of the handle. You'll naturally use and apply less pressure if you hold the brush towards the end. I'm going to add one over on this side. Add this one on an angle. Twist, wiggle, and roll. For the next step, we're going to be using a filbert brush. This one's at number 14. I'm going to get my brush just a little bit wet. And what I'm going to do is pull into a little bit of phthalo blue, green, and a little bit of burnt sienna. Mix them all up. Get it on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to start adding some lines in here for tree trunks. Be 
top of the trees, little tap, push as the tree gets a little fuller as you work your way down. Do a little tap on the top of that one. I always like to leave a little space for the new growth on the top of the tree. So make it look a little spiky on the top. Then I tap, tap, tap that way, come back over to the center, left to right. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take some white without washing your brush off. You're gonna go lightly over that wet paint. By doing this, we're gonna make it look like snow and we're gonna pick up those other colors and create some softer shades of those. So we're creating some highlights and shadows instantly. And then we're just gonna sweep down a little bit of that color. It's up to you how much white you wanna add. If you want it just to look a little frosty, then you're gonna let off on the pressure and you would just add little bits here and there. Leave the space, not a lot of pressure. Now I'm gonna push a little bit harder down. Let's move on over to this side now. I'm gonna come in and add a little bit of that violet with a bit of blue and white. I rinsed my brush out. I just want to change up the color tones a little bit in this. It's not a gorgeous color. So now I'm going to add this color over top of that wet paint. So I'm going to be picking up a little bit of that. White. A little bit of black will make a gray color and I'm using what's left of that light purple shade that we made. I'm just going to add a big fat circle right here. Pick up a little bit of white, load my brush up. And take a little bit of white. I'm going to add his head right here. Okay, now for our mop brush. This is a one inch mop brush. We're not going to get this wet, no water at all. It's nice and soft and poofy, and I want to make the snow look soft and poofy on his body. So I'm going to go and just ease into that white. A little bit of the warm yellow. A little bit of the red. And I'm going to start to tap lightly. Turning my brush. And then we're going to start working on his hat. So what we're going to do is add sort of a rectangle here that's lopsided. So we're going to go up a little bit higher on the right and then down a little bit lower on the left. I'm 
I'm going to take a little bit of white, soften the inside. And I'm going to go back to the blue, a little bit of black in there with the blue and the rose. Then I'm going to start from here. Push, wiggle, twist. Go back the other way. Okay, the next step, a little bit of white, a little bit of red, and the yellow. I'm going to use this to add a little highlight and some snow so you can be a little wiggly. And then we're just going to have a little bit of a highlight in here. I'm just going to use my finger to add a little bit of light inside that part of the hat. I want to add a little bit more snow right here, kind of piling up. And maybe have some snow dripping off or icicles. Okay, I think I'm going to add some little branches. So I'm going to take some black and some burnt sienna with my little round brush here. And I'll add a little line here and a little line here. Gently pull in, wiggle, and let off. Pull in again, almost like a little point like that. Okay, so the next step, picking up some white and the burnt sienna. Mix it up, get it together on the tip of my brush. And I'll add a highlight and a little bit of frost or snow. I'm going to use my liner rigger brush for these areas here that are a little bit thinner. A little bit more white so that it shows up against that background. And also to add a little bit more snow. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little bit of black and my little round brush for his eyes. And I'm just going to place a little dot like this, and then one right there. I'm going to add a little dab of white. Just a tiny bit there, and one there. Okay, now I'm going to paint the nose. A little bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of black. And we're going to go in between the eyes, 
kind of just make an invisible V like this. And we're going to start right here. You're going to make a crescent move. Then we're going to pull, making it narrower, pull from the bottom, making it narrower. Taking it all the way to the right side of his face. Warm yellow, a little bit of white. And we're just going to come in and paint the carrot. Then take a little bit of white. And just add a few little lines, little curves, just like that crescent moon shape to that black. And we're just going to create a smile. Starting off with a little one there, space it out, dab, 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 dab. Make a few of them a little bit bigger. So just adding a little bit more paint, a little bit more pressure. And we'll start one. We know his scarf's going to be in here. One, two, three. Then I'm going to add a little bit of white. For a bit of a shine on the smoky purple. And I'm going to go and add a little sort of crescent moon shape. I'm going to take some burnt sienna. Then I'm going to go add a ring right there and a little ring right here. So one that goes out that way and one that goes this way. I'm going to push and pull to join them. And I'm going to bring one end of his scarf down here. I'm just going to gently create that little fringe at the bottom, the other end of the scarf, and over. little pulls and flicks for the tassels and we're going to create a pattern on a scarf so just little wiggly plaid lines little thicker and then those thin ones again We'll bring a few across.
We add a little bit more white now. start off with some green and black my round brush and to start painting some pointy scoops like this for some holly leaves Then I'll take a little bit of white and I'll go inside, outline that. Make them look a little frosty. Then with a clean brush, I'm going to take my red to add a few little berries on here. I'm going to pull and flick. You can use, um, well, I'll show you both ways. I'll demonstrate with this brush, and I'll demonstrate with the Rigger liner brush. Picking up a little bit of white from the snow down here. Let's start to just pull one up here. A little bit more water, paint. Gentle pull, flick. And then I'll add another one here. Kind of the same way he would paint palm leaves and grass. And then I'm going to go straight into my white and I'm going to add some snow. I'm going to tap in a little bit of extra snow collecting here. I'm going to go back over to my number three round brush and paint some pine cones. So I'm going to start off with black and burnt sienna. And we'll just make a basic pine cone shape. It's a little narrower on the top. We're going to start right here. So make it a little round on the top and then wider and kind of round. You can create these little scoops. Here. I'm going to be using burnt sienna and white. We're going to start from the bottom of the pine cone and work our way up in the right order to layer them. So I'm going to start with this one here and what we want to do is just kind of make them, they're going to look like petals. So we're going to go down, kind of scoop like that. Then we're going to add some more. So notice the pattern already that I'm creating. So we've got scoop, 
scoop thicker on the bottom and then thinner around the sides. Where we've got two right here, we're gonna layer over with the next top one. So we've got one, two, three. There's two together here. I'm gonna bring in one there, one here, one around the side. And we're just gonna continue along, making them smaller and smaller and smaller. We'll start on this one. And I'm going to start adding some snow. And it all depends on how much snow you want. To add a few holly leaves so I'll take green and black and I'll come just in front scoop scoop it's gonna go right off the canvas Follow that shape, add a little one here, scoop, scoop. Yeah, and then another little one right here. So I'll take a little bit of red violet add three circles okay I'm going to add a little bit violet red burnt sienna and black and I'm going to add a few little berries here add a little dot and dab time for a little bit of white make them look a little frosty Well, this painting's all done. This was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have fun painting along. Feel free to share your versions on our Facebook group. I'll have a link below the video in the description box for that, as well as Patreon, where you can watch full-length tutorials, have a reference photo, and I'll have a full list of all the colors, brushes, canvas I'm using as well. Take care, everybody. Happy holidays. Bye!